looking now at probability of dependent events. We take a look at this example and where the, we see that there's seven people fishing in Lake Connor. Three have fishing license and four do not. An, ex an, an inspector comes and chooses two of the people at random. What's the probability that the first person chosen does not have a license and that the second one does? Okay, our, our answer is going to be a fraction. So now, whether the first person chosen has a license affects the probability that the second person chosen has a license. These are dependent. Let's take a, let's take a little closer look at that before we, we move on. What does that mean? Well, we can see that if the, f if the first person chosen does have a license, then there's only three people left with the remaining six for the second person. But if the first person, oh, does not, I mean, if the first person does have a license, then there's only two remaining out of the six for the second. So you see how those, those affect the second part of our question, right? So we need, so those are dependent, they depend on each other. So if we look now at how we want to solve this, once again, we have a really nice formula. So something that you can memorize, put in your notes, be aware of, understand. The probability of A and B, A indicating that they both have to happen, it's the probability of A, which we can calculate pretty easily, and then the probability of B given A. So we'll look at that second part here in a moment. So first we say, what's the probability of A? The probability of the first person having a license. Or, no, no, does not have a license. Well, how many of those do not have licenses? Four. And how many of them are there altogether? Four over seven. So this part we've got solved is four over seven. Now this second part we need to look closely at. If the first person chosen does not have a license, then there's going to be three out of the six that do not. So that's one half. Now, that's the, that's the second half, right? So now we can compute the probability that the first person does not have a license and the second one does. By multiplying those two together, we've got four-sevenths times one-half we can cross cancel and our final answer is two sevenths so there's two out of seven chance that the first person does not and the second person does have a license let's look at another example now so here we're talking about a DJ he has got seven songs on his upcoming hours playlist two are rock, three are reggae, two are country Okay, the disc jockey randomly chooses the first song to play and then randomly chooses the second. What's the probability that both songs are reggae? So, once again, these are independent events because if the first one chosen is reggae, then it's going to change whether or not it changed the way we calculate the second probability. So we use our handy dandy formula. The probability of both A and B is the probability of A times the probability of B given that A fits or A is, is matched, right? So the first song we chose, ch we have a chance to choose. There's uh, three reggae out of seven total. So that's pretty easy probability of A is three-sevenths. Now the second one can only be true if the first one is fulfilled. So in other words, the first song chosen was reggae, so that means there's only two reggae songs left out of six songs, which reduces to one-third. So our final 
probability that both the first and second songs are reggae will be three-sevenths times one-third, and of course we cross-cancel here, and we get one out of seven. So there's a one out of seven chance of both reggae. Okay, have fun with this.